Nice to meet you, Brendan. Yeah, good to meet you. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yeah. We've got Brendan and Allie, and it is 3.38 in the morning. And how are we, guys? Great. Great? Pretty good, yeah. A little tired, but, but up. So, now, Allie, Allie, yeah, you're never going to say... Allie, you're never going to say great again, or oh, good, right. or Fantastic. okay, or, or fine, or well, or can't complain. The new word is, it's not easy at first, it's fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. Brandon, yes. how are you? I am wonderful. Now, if you want to take it to the professional level, guys, you want to be fan-fucking-tastic. Fan-fucking-tastic. Yeah. I'm fan-fucking-tastic. That's the only way to be. Because yeah. that's, no. you know, who wants to be good? Got it. Right? Ninety-eight percent of people say good, just so you guys know. Yeah. And I call them moaners. M O A N. The M stands for mediocre. The O for ordinary. The A for average, and the N for normal. Do not, do not, do not want to be any of those words, right? That's right. Okay. Fantastic is the only way to be. So, Brendan, what did you, what did you do, did you do tonight? I met up with a couple of friends of mine who are pilots from Miami. Okay. And we went to a couple places in Santa Monica. Take had a the next great ride time. Wilshire Boulevard. I mean, so, Brendan, are you a single man? Yeah. Okay, when you meet a girl, you got, you got any girls or guys? Um, Doesn't girls. matter. What, whatever you like. It's whatever your purpose is. We, you, Brandon, you cannot make, you cannot, okay. listen to this, Brandon, you cannot make a first impression a second time. Okay. The next time you meet a girl and she says, hello, how are you? Right. You look deep into her eyes, you say, I am fan-fucking-tastic. I am fan-fucking-tastic. They will melt in your arms. Okay. Probably drop to the floor and spread their legs, more That's than sad. likely. I, I it like works. <laughs> right, Ellie? You just gotta, just gotta get the You have to right. deliver it right, right. though. Yeah. Yeah. Let me hear it with passion now, Brandon. I am fan fucking tastic. That's the only way to be. Yeah. Allie, how are you? I am fan fucking tastic. And you should be. You're beautiful, you're young, you're healthy. You're being chauffeured around by an old guy. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's right. Which one's Lincoln? No way to, no way else to live. The only way to live. <laughs> Brandon, what do you do? I help people sell their companies. Well, then you should be fantastic because you need... Uh, when you're fantastic, people have more respect for you. That's right. They look up to you. They listen to you. Yes. And if you're in sales, you'll sell more shit. They do. And you'll live longer and be happier because it puts a smile on your face, which is the most important thing because it gives you, uh, it releases endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin, which reduces stress in your body, makes you live longer. And when you say fantastic to people, they smile. So yeah, you're, you're that, actually that making true. the world a better place by being fantastic. Man, this guy's... You got you, it. You, you already know this guy? He's just from so this many? evening. Yes, yeah. exactly. Brandon, here's your uh, invitation to be oh, fantastic. All right, thanks. Now, if thanks. you have YouTube on your phone right now, Allie just joined at 595. Okay. It's, we have 595 people in the, um, in the uh, organization. Uh, uh, here we go. Somebody else joining Somebody the party. Beautiful. Join the party. Hi. So, uh, Brandon, 595, at least 595, if you get on YouTube right now, on your phone, and okay. you put in uplifting interviews, you're going to be Got 596. It. Okay. And Robert might be 597, if Wait. he's smart enough. Right. What's going on? I'm so you're, joining a, you're joining a movement <laughs> called the Be Fantastic Movement, because be you don't want to be good in life. Check this out, guys. Well, Ali's already seen it. Yes, this is the logo. It says okay. Be Fantastic. I'm so that's, your, that's, your new like, that's the logo. Right I love it. It's and really good. and, that's and so get, smart. guess how many uh, people out of 596 love the logo? 596. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, oh, it's the B. Ridiculous. The B stands for pollinating positivity because there is none in America <laughs> anymore. And um, that's right. Well, that's great, man. This it's, is Washington here, I think. Yeah. So uh, anyway, get out your yeah. phone, Brandon, and put in uplifting interviews in the YouTube thing. You're going to be 596. Okay. And um, Robert, if you want to be positive in life and live a longer life and be happy and sell more shit and be at more respect from people. And sell more shit. What, do you sell things? Do you, are you a salesman? Um, I I was a salesman at one point in my life. What do you do now? Uh, I'm in IT now. In IT? Well, you still... Left onto when you're uh, fantastic, as an employee, you're going to get moved up the, the ranks because people want... 
get moved up positive now, people yeah. in, in, in their in their organization. If you're in a management position, you're going to get more respect from people because out of the 596 people, guys, get this: only 34 people have ever met someone in their life. That's fantastic. Now, you, obviously, you think people are fantastic, like your parents and your, your siblings, whatever. But of the 596, only 34 so far have ever known someone. And get this, they never forgot them as long as they live. Mm. You'll never be forgotten That's when you're fantastic. Yeah. You're never going to be forgotten. You're going to live longer. You're going to be happier. You're going to get more respect. Nice. You're going to make the world a better place. Because when you say you're fantastic, it creates engagement. Exactly. No one's engaging today. They're all on their fucking cell phones. And uh, yeah. by the way, we're being recorded on this. I hope you... We're in a podcast oh, right shit. now. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so watch what okay. you say. Don't use the word okay. fuck because we can't okay. say fuck on this thing. Right. Well, I like to. Unless you, like you know, say I want it. you to say one thing for me. What? Say I'm fantastic right now. I'm fantastic. Now I want you to say I'm fan-fucking-tastic. I'm fan-fucking-tastic. How does that make you feel? Uh, fantastic. It does make you feel good. People <laughs> typically, when they first say it the first time... It, like they get a rush, like crack, you know. Right. It's like a crack. They're not used to saying. That. Nobody's used to saying that. No. Nobody is. It's, it's daunting. It's it's and get. It's I bet you none of you. Of I bet you none of you guys know what that means. The word fantastic. I'll bet my last dollar. No one knows it's the definition the, of it. Um, the actual fantasy. Definition. No. Okay. It's amazing. It's, close. it's pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's not I, think, people, I think a lot of people think fantasy. It, it's no. got to be somewhere around there. No, here's the definition. Unimaginably good. Unimaginably That's the definition good. in the dictionary. Wow. And the That's second, actually really cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And the second, no one, no, out of 596, no, actually over a thousand people have asked, no one knows what it means. And the second definition is beautiful. So I don't know why it's beautiful, but, you know, but I think unimaginably good is very cool. Now, here's, Robert, you didn't hear this line. If you say good, when someone asks you how you are, which is a rhetorical, lame-ass question. It is a rhetorical question. And it's 98% of people say good. I call them moaners. M-O-A-N. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, no, so no, no, listen. No, I try to be, I tr- no. I tr- I I try to be honest. No. I call them bitching and whining. Well, you know, no. moaners, here's what moaners stand for. Oh, sorry. You, 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 Brendan, get this. Moaners is M-O-A-N, right? They're mediocre, ordinary, average, normal people. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to be any of those names? No. Allie? No, no, no. No! Don't be a moaner. Don't say good ever again. Say fantastic, and you'll make people smile. You'll make them like you. But what if you don't feel fantastic That's that even day? better. Sometimes, Guess what? Sometimes you, you're, you're, okay, you're maybe I not love in such what, a good mood, and I sometimes love, you got to be honest with people and get a real reaction. No, I love when people say that. Sometimes if you're like, uh, yeah, my day's not that really, great right now. What is it? Good, what good is it going to be to tell someone that you're negative, that you're not feeling well? What good? Well, you need pity? What good, need what good can you get from that? Yeah, what Maybe good? they'll give you a positive spin on whatever's wrong with you. What's okay, you guys haven't heard the story. Girl gets in my car. She's, uh, I said, how are you? Like I do everybody. She says, I'm sad and lonely. Brendan, get this. She I says, I'm you. sad and lonely. So I said, well, I, I got some good news for you and I've got some bad news for you. The bad news is if you tell people, to complete strangers, that you're sad and lonely, I mean, you don't want to tell your mother or a psychiatrist. Right. Yeah, they don't want but if you tell complete strangers that you're sad and lonely, you're manifesting it. In the words of Rene Descartes, the philosopher, I think, therefore I am. You're, you're, you're believing it, you're living it, you're sharing it, that's and right. you're going to be it, right? Yep. Now, that's the bad news. The good news is you just met Dr. Fantastic, and I'm going to give you the prescription for a happier and longer life. If you're feeling shitty, you're feeling down, you're feeling sad and lonely, say to the neck of the person that you're fantastic. It puts a smile on your face. It's the only word, not awesome, not wonderful, not incredible, that puts a smile on your face, which releases endorphins, dopamine, and serotonin. You're going to feel better, but the person's going to want to like you because you just said you're fantastic. And you're gonna you're gonna make friends, yeah. and you're not gonna be sad and lonely anymore. I told her. I got it. Right? Yeah. So I love when people ask me, why would you say fantastic when you're not feeling fantastic? It's, call it karma. Call it making somebody else feel good and not thinking about yourself. Yeah. Unless you need pity and empathy, tell everyone you're sad and lonely, or tell everyone you have a headache. It doesn't do any good. I think it's situational though. Yes, of course. You don't say you're fantastic at a funeral. Right. You don't. You're okay. You don't say. But it, but, but also, if, if you want to meet if, girls, uh, say you're fantastic. Right. You may. Sorry. Sure, sorry. If you don't know really know somebody very well, you say, "Hey, I'm I'm feeling fantastic." But if but if it's somebody they're very close with that you're comfortable yeah. with sharing your feelings, yeah. Yeah. you should be able to tell them the yes. truth and not. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a time mask. and place for everything. 
But I don't think anyone needs. It was a very, very close friend. You want to tell them you're shitty. You're, you're feeling down. Yeah, because you lost the, your job. then they have a perspective on yes, your life, of course. and they can give you. There's real a time advice. and place for everything. I, I agree completely what you're saying. But generally, you're going to get asked by total strangers all day long how you are. Yeah. And everyone blows it off with the answer good. Every day at work. Every day at work. Start saying you're fantastic. Watch how your life changes. Mm. Watch how your life changes. People mm. will respect you more. You're going to feel better. After about the 10th time of saying it, your subconscious is going to start believing it. Hmm. Brendan's back there laughing. No, I, I, I believe you're, that you're, you're absolutely you. correct, dude. It's all about what you hold in your mind. Yeah. yeah. I think, therefore I am. That's my mantra. Absolutely. True. Right? Um, absolutely and I counsel true. people all day long. I'm a life coach. That's I'm true. a motivational speaker. And, and people think they're failures. And I turn it around. Why would you think that, you know? Right. And don't you, do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourself. Don't put a negative fucking thought in your That's brain. Right, man. That is so it manifests true. negativity. You're, positive you're, manifests positivity. Your clients are so lucky to have you. Well, thank you. No, I'm serious. No, I pr- appreciate that. Yeah, I'm changing lives every yeah. day driving left. And I yeah. can't wait to get up in the morning. Actually, I couldn't sleep, so I got up and I said, fuck it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. You had enough, right, Brandon? You too. Brandon, you're great. You, you got my God, card, right? God bless you. It, yes. Brandon, yeah, I, I will there, totally there's, be in touch, brother. And there's a 714 number. At Sorry. 2 p.m., I take call in. I take call ins. Right. Call me. We'll have a chat uh, on the podcast. Right on. Yep. It's fun. God bless you all. God bless. Have a good night, man. Okay, one down, two to go. So I've, I've, I love. I've, I've never had three on a, on a shared before. It's I know. This is only my two. second time. Yeah, exactly. But it's I mean, great yeah. because I'm trying to hit 600 tonight. So um, do it. 600 people? Yeah. I've had 597. If you join right now, you're 598. You've had 500 get... people driving today, right? No, not today. Of course not. Oh, okay. okay. No, no. I, I'm, I'm building a following to be, make people fantastic because it's it's better I know, I than I being think, good. I, I think that I don't disagree about the honesty aspect. However, 98% of the time, if, if I don't know about your experience, but in my experience, if I were to err on the side of honesty and let's say... You know, if in that feet, moment I was just feeling Avenue. just good, the next there has not Iowa been a Avenue. single instance where anyone has ever asked me, oh, what's the matter? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody exactly. Cares. Nobody only- cares. So I'm rather, I'm, I personally am of the mindset that, yes, of course, you know, like my instinct is to just say like, yeah, okay, great, good, whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you blow it Come off. On. You're blowing off the question is what you're but, doing. Right. But I do, I think that there's something to be said about forget whatever my experience is, but if I did say, or if I did seem, you know, if I were to say something that seemed to be more positive, then if that helps somebody else, then maybe that will transfer onto me too. It that will. Could be, it that will. Could be I call it karma. Make And don't think about yourself when you're saying fantastic. Think of how you're making someone else smile. And when you make someone else smile, you're making the world a better place. Bottom line. Mm-hmm. If you make one person smile today, you've done good. You make 10 people smile today, you've done great. You make more than that, which I do every day, it, that's fantastic. And I'm having the, the time of my life opening up people's eyes to being fantastic. One last story, guys. 89-year-old woman, two days ago, gets in here, and I asked her, like I ask everybody, have you ever met anyone in your life that's fantastic? She said, my late husband would always say it. And I said, how did that make you feel? She says, it always made me feel great. And it made my friends feel great. So I said, and then it struck a chord with me, right? I said, why aren't you saying it then? Because he passed away, right? And she says, I never thought about saying it. But now that you tell me what the benefits are, I understand it completely. And she said, I'm going to be fantastic the rest of my life. Isn't that great, Allie? I couldn't believe I was so happy. She, and she and, and you watch the interview, it's just two days ago. I got four hundred interviews by the way, Robert, on, on my channel. And she was she goes, I'm fantastic. Some people get it and it just it blows her mind. And she's gonna be fantastic the rest of her life. I know it. Because she has that personal experience of feeling good from her husband. Yeah, that's it. She's carrying on his legacy almost like now. So that was pretty cool. That's that was a great story. The sad and lonely girl. I hope she's using it, and to get out of that kind of a um, situation. Everybody can be but a little it, rut sometimes. But it creates engagement. 
Robert, there's no engagement anymore. People say good, and then they're on their way. Mm-hmm. You start saying fantastic, watch what happens. People are going to want to talk to you. They're going to want to know more about you. They're going to want to know more about your business, whatever you're doing. And uh, if it doesn't work for you, don't do it. Go to good, you know. But I don't think good is good. I think good is bad. It's my opinion. Right, Ellie? That could be, yeah. Sure. I, I could imagine that. You shouldn't try to be uh, acceptable. You should be exceptional. Well, uh, again, uh, I say people who say good are just the 98 percentile. 98 percent of people say good. The others, the other two percent, say I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm well, I'm all right. Some can't variation. complain. There are little variations, right? Yeah. But I call the 98 percentile moaners, and it's M O A N, mediocre, ordinary, average, normal people. And I don't think most people want to be in that category. And I know it's a little cruel, but they're all just going, I don't know why we have to say, how are you, when we don't mean it. It's just, it's, no, a, it's yeah, the way no, we greet was... people. How are you? You don't, you're not really asking. So I want to get this story. A friend of mine knows my movement, and he said, you know, Monty, it's funny, because I ran into this guy every Wednesday, and every time I'd, he'd say, how are you, I'd say, good. And he'd say, that's fantastic, because he's relating to my fantastic movement, right? And then the next week, he'd say, um, I'm well. And he'd say, that's fantastic. And it seemed like whatever he said, the guy would say, fantastic. So one week, he decided to test it. And the guy said, how are you? And he goes, my mother died yesterday. And the guy goes, fantastic. Oh, no. He, he wasn't listening for the answer. Yeah, it's a, it's a little situational. His answer was always fantastic when someone said something. Because everyone has a relation to fantastic. So I got a call yesterday. My buddy is in a train in um, New York. And he said, Monty, i got to tell you this. I walked up to the, uh, the bartender on the train, and she said, uh, I said, how are you? She said, I'm well. And she said, back, how are you? And he goes, I am fantastic. And it created a dialogue. He said, uh, we had a great conversation, and it meant something. It's mm-hmm. creating dialogue. It's, it's bringing people together. It's a great, positive way of thinking. And uh, it's a movement. And uh, I'd love to be, be 597, but it's up to you. Good about saying sometimes fantastic, even if it's not your initial reaction. thought or reaction or response. You know, in some way, or it's not your initial go-to um, response. Is that if somebody then says back to you, if you say Fanta- I'm fantastic, somebody, and then someone says in response back to you, oh, that's that's so wonderful. Like what? Even if someone actually said like, oh, why? <laughs> you know, they're like, going to say like, why? Why? It sort of forces you to think Engage. about your own, like, you know, what aspect of your life does make you happy, even if it may be something small, something super minimal, and maybe it could even be not a constant in your life, just like one thing that's like made you happy, or not, it may or not be consistent, but just the idea that something may be making you happy, it could be that one thing. Well, if someone asks you why you're fantastic, there's two answers I like to tell people. The best answer is why not? You know, I mean, people are questioning. Uh, this guy says, I, I smile a lot at work, and people ask me why I'm smiling. What is wrong with our society where you're questioning people why they're smiling, why they're laughing, why they're fantastic, right? What is wrong with our society? I just think it's totally screwed up. Right? And the other reason that you're fantastic is that you met Dr. Fantastic and he gave you the prescription for a happier and longer life. Okay? This is the Dr. Fantastic show, by well, the way. I think you got to create your own happiness. Though. You do! Of course, 100 fucking percent! You hit it. You can't nail. just wait for you, other people or things to happen. You that's, to. If you watch my channel, you come first. You, if you can't make yourself happy, no one can Well, make, yeah. It's, no it, one makes well, you happy. It's the, same, it's the same thing as, you know, when you... Put your on your oxygen mask in an airplane. You have to. Oh my God! You have to take care of yourself before you take care of other people. <laughs> I say that every day as my metaphor. No, no, That's no, no. the metaphor for being yeah, absolutely, uh, man. I use that every single day, Robert. You can't take Robert. care of the homeless if you don't fucking have your own home, man. Like, you know, Robert, you're definitely. saying exactly what I say every day in my, in my speeches to people. Oh, yeah. oh. Take care of yourself first, then you can make other people happy. Ali, you hear that? He yeah. said exactly oh, what I... Agree. That's the metaphor I use every day. That you got to put on the ma- oxygen mask first, and then help you other people. Yeah, man. I would, that's and no one's going to make you happy. They're going to bring you happiness, but you have no, to make yourself no, no, happy. Yeah. 
Only you know what's going to really make you happy, man. And nobody else is going to do shit for you, especially today's world, man. Your parents aren't going to make you happy. They're not going to fucking, they're not going to decide what it is that, that, that's going to, you know, make you successful or happy or rich or whatever it is that you want, man. You've got to do that shit yourself. Love it. That's exactly right, Robert. Yeah. You're making my podcast a success right here yeah. because Robert's got it. Allie's got it. Right. Brandon had it. He was great. Three out of three. That's right. <laughs> what are you eating back there, Ellie? Bar. Protein bar. Protein bar. Protein bar. <laughs> Robert, we, we didn't get what you did tonight. What did, what did I do tonight? Yeah, what, was, uh, what are you up to tonight? Um, I uh, watched the uh, Colorado game. I watched the USC game, and then I at, went at to a friends. Uh, at my at cousin's bar? house, and then we went to a bar, and then uh, we hung out with some people at another bar, and then. Went to Mel's Drive-In. Mel's Drive-In's pretty good, man. Oh, uh, yeah, they, uh, they, they, they remodeled uh, it. It's 24-7, I think. Oh, yeah, it's That's like a... swingers, but better. Nice. Yeah. Camp, like Cantor's, too? Or... Um, I wouldn't consider it as good as Cantor's. Yeah, I think Cantor's is... Still. Is, like, it... I, you can't... I don't... I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put them on the same... Oh, same field. Yeah, his, yeah, Cantor's has history too. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. Cantor's has got its own thing, man. Like that, and you can't. It's a brand. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's a whole yeah. philosophy, you know. Like, I saw someone wearing a shirt with Cantor's on it. <laughs> um, like, maybe you want to have pastrami right now. Yeah, you can't make. You yeah, can't right. redo that pastrami sandwich, man. There's nothing like a good pastrami sandwich. Yeah, they, yeah, they make a mean milkshake. Yeah. Um, yeah well, man. actually, the the best milkshake I think in town. Is uh, is uh, fuck uh, Franklin and Company? Oh yeah. They have um, it's on it's in like Franklin Village. Nice. Um, they have um, do you do you like White Russians? Do you like White Russians? I mean the drink, the, yeah, the yeah, cocktail, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course, Black Russians, White Russians. Yeah, yeah. So they have a White Russian milkshake. <laughs> really? Nice. Yeah, and it is fucking the best thing in town. Really. Oh my god, it's insanely good. Okay. I like, think they just opened up a place in the Westfield Mall called Tipsy Cow. I don't know if it's like a recent open or not, but Tipsy Cow, is that? Tipsy Cow? Which mall? I think, I think it's what's called, in the Westfield Mall in Century City. I'm okay. sure that's what it's called. But I think they do like spiked milkshake type things as well. Yeah. Which is, you makes can't, me happy You can't go wrong that. with a spiked milkshake. <laughs> exactly. Well, let's talk burgers. Oh, yeah. The oh. best burgers in town. What do you think? Um, I would say between Father's Office and Stout. Um, yeah, Stout, Stout's really good, man. I, I feel like it's really underrated. Father's Office is really good. Plan check? Um, anything on that? I don't like plan check. I don't know. I think Honor really Bar nice. actually has really good burgers. Oh, yeah. But the thing about Honor Bar is it's owned by a family that actually has restaurants throughout the United States, and so you can't really say it's like kind of a L.A. burger. Mm. So, yeah, I would I would say that Father's Father's Office has the most unique good burger. That's good. Yeah, I haven't had that, but I, I just think the old Stanley Fat Burger on a grill is yeah. like one of the I, best I, burgers. I love some, uh, what's the place? Uh, Apple Pan is down the street from here. Oh yeah, Apple yeah. Pan. Yeah. yeah. That place is really good, man. That's old school, dude. Actually, I drove a healer to Apple Pan, and she's a Reiki healer. Oh, yeah. Reiki? I don't know how you say it. And she she says, I'm a vegan, but I have to have some chicken today. It's so funny. That's that's not a vegan. Well, she's a vegan, but she just has to have chicken that day. But get this. It was a 30. She goes, how long is this interview going to last? I said, as long as we're having fun. And it was on video, not not podcast. And it turns out she heals extraterrestrials. What? Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh, okay. That's like a niche. That is. Well, no, not, not humans as well. But I mean, some of them are, are extraterrestrials. Like define heal. Well, healers. What do healers do? They put their hands on you, and mystically, mystically they they cure your your ills or whatever. Oh, that is like okay. a niche profession within a no, niche profession. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, so I, I, t- I labeled that episode, if you guys watch it, uh, yeah. Healers Also Heal Extraterrestrials, and oh, um, it got 150 views in two days. Oh my, oh my God. 
people were digging it. I, I can't. And she had the time of her life. 30 minutes, we talked on motivation, spirituality, obviously aliens. Um, it was a great, great interview. <laughs> Where did she find these extraterrestrials? Did she disclose her? No. I mean, yeah. they guess, somehow, I guess, word of mouth, maybe. I don't know. Um, but it's like, they look like us. They look like us, right? By the way, just so you know. You don't know who's uh, an alien <laughs> on, on the planet. Oh, man. They don't have, uh, they're not the greys. I love you know? talking to people like that. Yeah, I know. I, I'm I've got 400 obsessed. interviews on my channel of scientists, of rappers. and I mean, oh, this is the most amazing people. Yeah, Three at Caltech scientists that are doing things that are off the wall. It's are they a, talking to aliens too, though? No, no. I, I like I like alien conversations, though. I did have a, a pilot who saw a UFO. My son saw a UFO. Oh, all the pilots have, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen one myself yet. I'm looking forward to it. I think I saw one many, many years ago. I in, always in, in feel space. like there's more of a more logical reason for anything like that. I don't know. It's just not my... Do you ever watch Ancient Aliens? Oh, yeah, that show's hilarious. Isn't that great? Oh, man, that's so good. That's a great show. Okay. What's the show with, like, it's Rob, I think that's more like paranormal stuff than um, extraterrestrial. Which no? things? And with, like, Rob Lowe and his son. Rob Lowe? Yeah. Yes. Rob Lowe has a show about aliens? No, extra. More paranormal, like, she's saying. Yeah, more like paranormal. I think it's more like a ghost you don't know the haunting. Name. No, I've show. never heard of it and having a show about that. Yeah, I forgot what it's called, but it's on, I think it's, 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 uh, yeah, more like Ghost Hunting. I like Rob Lowe, man, I guess. I love him. He's a character. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by this woman. Oh, oh you gotta watch the interview. Definitely. It's, it's, it's off the charts. My sister is a marriage family counselor. She watches some of my shows. She watches that show. She's a money. You rocked it on that one because we talked about so many different subjects, you know. But it was all motivational, you know. I mean, all of my interviews are uplifting except one, and I didn't air that one because it was a tragic love story that mm. was tragic. And I said, no, no, my show is uplifting. <laughs> man, love stories can be both, man. You no, know, this was a tragic That's what one. makes them so great. Well, there is something to be learned well, from that. Always a roller coaster, man. Yeah. And if it's not a roller coaster, it's probably not worth it. Well, one of the things is you, you, you don't know how long you're going to have your loved one, so love them when no, you're. No, man, that's the thing, man. But it's always better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. Oh, right? brilliant! Did you make that up? No, you've yeah. never heard that before. I just fucking. Oh, okay. I was like, what? <laughs> how have you never heard that? I was like, that is like one of the most generic things ever. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you had me for a second there, man. Yeah, well, me uh, too. <laughs> I was, no, I did well, come what? up with. I actually came up with. I think, therefore, I am. I don't know if you guys know. Yeah, that or yeah, not. that's yeah, of it. course. Forget that Renee <laughs> Descartes. Yeah. Exactly, Renee. Renee, who? Yeah, right. Who's who? Are we dropping here? Oh, Allie, I'm sorry to lose you. No, but no, I'm so happy I'm... you're 595, right? That's for sure. Oh my gosh, that's so great. And Allie, every at 2 p.m. on that card, yeah. keep that number. I love call-ins. Oh, sweet. And let me know how sure. it's going to be being fantastic. When are we going to listen to the podcast? Uh, it'll be uh, in two minutes as soon as we drop uh, Robert off. It'll be on the. Now the thing is the podcast. Um, let me tell you the, the link to the podcast. Because it's um, I'm uh, I'm launching a new channel called I'm mean, uh, uh, I'm sorry a, um, a website called BeFantasticToday.com which will have the podcast on it. I'm trying to think where where it's if you give me your email I'll send it to you tomorrow. Oh yeah, is it on my system? Oh, on my on. system. Or no, no, stop. Let me write it down real quick. Oh, Let me put it on. Let me get. It. We're gonna end this. Everybody, bye. Thanks for listening in, and um, be fantastic, everybody.